Okay, so guess what? The New Hampshire primary happened, and uh, Nikki Haley lost, or <clears throat> or uh, you could say came in last. Uh, <laughs> we only care about damaging Donald Trump is the headline. Oh, is that the only thing they cared about? <laughs> Kurt, I hadn't noticed. <laughs> what, what outlet is this? Shityouallareknew.com? <laughs> oh, no, I'm wrong. It's Politico. Oh, Wait, okay. I didn't know they cared about things other than damaging Trump except for... Maybe Ukraine and now Israel, nothing else. And masks. Oh, yeah, masks. I cared about masks. It's ironic because Islam has a lot of masks. So here, Simon Atiba tweeted out this uh, video of this voter. This Here's a Nikki Haley voter. You want to hear the typical Nikki Haley voter in New Hampshire? Turns out he's a Democrat. Let's go. Let's Nikki go. Haley. And why did you vote for Nikki Haley? Uh, it's a vote against Trump. Uh, I think it would be better to have her against Biden in the... Uh, elections and it would be Trump and her. Do you consider yourself generally independent, Republican, or Democrat? Uh, Democrat. <laughs> so when you undeclared, you voted for Nikki Haley. If it was Nikki Haley against Joe Biden in a general election, who are you voting for? Joe Biden. What is the... <laughs> I thought he was going to say because he's into MILFs. Uh, I, that's, that's what I was going to say. It, it's the old Sarah Palin thing, right? They want to... Uh... Yeah, it just really looked like... He looks like a guy if you look called up his search history... I bet he, MILF would come up quite a lot. Certainly that Sarah Palin knockoff porn. That certainly sounds desperate, doesn't that? I mean, uh, <laughs> hey, maybe since some, somebody should attempt a frivolous criminal indictment and appoint their secret boyfriend as prosecutor. <laughs> Has anyone tried that yet against Trump? <laughs> Just throw a lot of ideas on the wall and see what sticks, you know? <laughs> so there's your typical voter. It's a Democrat who's afraid of Trump voting for Nikki Haley. That's her constituency in New Hampshire. How does that, how's that going to play out for the rest of the... Well, here's what CNN had to say about it. Uh, In these exit poll results, you see a Mars and Venus universe for Haley and Trump coalitions here. Take a look at the numbers. Among Trump voters, 70% of them... By the way, this is not the guy... Hang on. In these exit poll results... This is not the guy who got caught jerking off on a Zoom call on oh. CNN. This is they they hired a just in case they just wanted to hire a lookalike. I thought it was his cousin Kenny Tubin. <laughs> <laughs> they what? How do they hire two guys who look exactly alike like that? We but well, he's a little fatter. He Tubin, is, he, Tubin uh, worked off some of that excess. Yeah, he got a lot more exercise in one area of his body. But wait, what? This, uh, this guy. At any moment, I feel like this guy's going to go. You're killing me, Larry. <laughs> 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 Why? What did he mean? A Mars and Venus universe. Those are both in the same universe. So, and yeah, I, I don't understand what that means. I guess at all. that means people are on different planets. I don't know. Well, let's listen. Let's listen to what he says. You see a Mars and Venus universe for Haley and Trump coalitions here. Take a look at the numbers among Trump voters. Seventy percent of them, according to our exit polls, are registered Republicans. Donald Trump, his support, 27 percent of his voters are registered undeclared or independents. Uh, Three percent were unregistered before today. Look at how that compares with Nikki Haley. It's a complete reversal. It's an alternate universe among Haley voters. 70 percent are registered undeclared and those are just the guys who wanted banger <laughs> <laughs> um again mars and venus are not in alternate universes that, that, there that they're in the it's same not even out in a different same solar, solar system same solar system <laughs> even yeah only 27 percent are registered republicans uh i agree with every word of that except staggering <laughs> Oh, that's the uh, next one, actually. Anyway, well, there is no next one. Oh, that's what? it. Um, but anyway, uh, there you go. There you have it. Seventy percent of the people who vote, I took it away. Uh, oh, who, oh. Vo who vote? I'm going to save it for. Oh, I thought so there was an alternate Venus universe, and I was in the Mars one. No, there's a there, that clip that was in there. I took it. I'm going to use it on Saturday. I didn't want to use it today. As the great Dennis Tubin said, "This is a Mars <laughs> and Venus universe." So. Uh, and by the way, we are doing that show this Saturday, uh, the 27th. Are there any tickets left, Misha? No. Oh, too bad. Oh, so so you, if you didn't get your ticket, you missed out. Uh, so there it is. The, Nikki Haley's, again, her constituency in New Hampshire are Democrats who hate Trump. Yeah. Well, uh, what are they, undeclared that hate Trump? I mean, it, I don't well, know. They call themselves uh, undeclared, but uh, they're Democrats, right? I have no idea. I, I can't believe New Hampshire. They really go out 
and voted these. Like people went in and wrote in Biden, even though I don't know if this counts or something. <laughs> like, they, he's se- not on the ballot. Seventy percent of the people wrote in uh, Biden's name. Biden didn't even he gave the finger to New Hampshire. You'd be better off voting Nikki Haley if you were like, I want to help Biden, I guess. I, I really don't know. He told New Hampshire, I don't want your primary to count. That's what Joe Biden said, basically. None of us do, but it does and, somehow. But, but well, and, and they said, hey, thanks for disenfranchising us. We're going to vote for you anyway. They went oh, out because Biden didn't put his name on the ballot. So you can tell who's so the undeclared. And they Democrats. say, Trump, again, again, not a fan of Trump, but they say Trump is the maniac who's willing to bend yeah. rules and screw people over and tr- put his pl- everything they say about Donald Trump is a confession of who they are. Yeah. Well, I guess the registered Democrats that wrote in Biden are just like slower Democrats. You, you, like the yeah. ones that are a little quicker. Did this Haley? Nikki yes. Haley thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I like how uh, Joe Biden says democracy is on the ballot. Well, certainly not in your primary. We need to get it off the ballot to protect democracy. Like we got to take the. <laughs> we got to take the. We'll get it off of there. <laughs> uh, so I really, I, you know, I wish I had Keaton on right now so he could um, weigh in on uh, what he thinks about this whole thing because he was in New Hampshire. I don't really have much to say except that uh, it it is a an, an incredible show of the lack of commitment to democracy by the Democrats and their big ideas to get Democrats to cross over. Because in New Hampshire, Democrats can, it's an open primary. You can vote in a Republican primary, even if you're a Democrat or an independent. And uh, it's, it's, it's just remarkable. It's the, uh, if, uh, New Hampshire's top Pornhub search. What is it? Pierced? Pierced. I guess they're real mavericks. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's like vote, you know, a, a Chad, you dimple. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, come see us do a live stand-up show. We're going to be in Palmdale, California, Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Milwaukee, Lansing, Michigan, Bend, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, Philadelphia, Boston, and more. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for those tickets. And we're adding a second show in London. (laughs) 